Open Terminal to the startup project for this video and do a pod install to bring in the Arc Swift library. Once that's done, open the XC workspace file and as it states at the top, do a build of your project. Remember to run pod install and do a build in each startup project throughout this course. Okay, so first I want to point out that there's helper code here that you'll use throughout this course, tucked into a file named supportcode.swift in the Playground's sources folder. First, there's a wrapper function that will let you execute some code in its own scope and print a header to the console of any of its output to make it easy to distinguish that code from other examples in the Playground. And there are some constants defined that you'll use as well. These are the existing and known future Star Wars movies in story chronological order. I want to mention that you should open up the startup project for each video. It may seem as though you're continuing in the same project from the last video sometimes, but in fact I may have added some new helper code or files in there. So it's best to just start with the starter. So let's jump right into creating some observables. Start by creating a new example. Add to that the following code that creates a new observable of type string using the just method. Just is aptly named because all it does is create an observable sequence containing just a single element. Just is a type method on observable. However, in Rx, methods are referred to as operators. Who'd have thunk that in a franchise that is all about the rebellion underdog fighting the oppressive empire that the most popular movie in the series would be Empire Strikes Back? You explicitly define the observable of the type string, but the compiler can usually infer the type as well. Enter this code to the same example. This time you're letting the compiler infer the type, and you're using the of operator. Option click on the original trilogy and you'll see that this is an observable of string, just like the previous example. The of operator works similarly to the just operator, except that it can take a variadic number of one or more values of the same type. Keep in mind that this is still an observable of string, not an observable of an array of strings, even though you're passing it multiple string instances. However, if you want to create an observable of an array, you can simply pass an array to it. Add this code to create an observable of an array of string using of. and option click on prequel trilogy to confirm that it's in fact an observable of array of string. So what if you wanted to create an observable of a type from an array of that type? Add this code that uses the from operator, which does exactly that. It takes an array of values and creates an observable of the type of that array. Option click on SQL Trilogy and see that it's an observable of string, just like the first example using the of operator above. There are lots more ways to create observables, but these are the basic ones you'll use quite a bit. Creating observables is fun and all, but it's a bit like blogging about your crazy fun adventures in life if you don't have any readers. Did you even do all those things? You need some readers, some subscribers, and you'll see how to get some next.